like having a vision targets can get you to push yourself like if we use the example of the gym again now let's say you're at the gym and you're on the treadmill and you don't have a target then after about eight or nine minutes you're going to start to feel tired and start to feel a bit of pain and that's when you quit but if you have a target of let's say 20 minutes then you're much more likely to push yourself a lot more you're going to be focusing on finishing as opposed to the pain and if you have absolutely no targets it's like going to the gym and just going to the jacuzzi all the time or if you have no targets when you go to college then you're just going to spend all your spare time in the common room the problem is in those areas in the jacuzzi and in the common room you're not gaining anything i want to show you what i think happens when you're studying it's very similar to exercising and that's the time and that's the result you get if this it's the first eight minutes, then you can see it as just a warm-up. It's the same when you study, it's sort of recapping. You're not learning, any learning anything new. But as we said, if you have a target, then you're going to push yourself. So you're going to do more. Now, at this stage, you can see that the result you get is much greater because that's the new things that you're learning. The difference is, you're consciously deciding that the extra effort and the extra time is going to be worth it because you're going to get proportionately greater results. When you achieve your target, it's critical that you acknowledge it, so you can start to associate good things to pushing yourself. Now, if you can picture this as what you're capable of, as the boundary, then each time you push yourself by having standards, visions, reasons, targets, whatever it takes, then each time you push yourself, you can think of it as a dot outside of what you would normally do, outside of what you're capable of. And if there's enough of these, then you improve, you grow. And again, that's the same thing there. But the opposite is also true. The mind and the muscle work very similar. So if, you, if you're always in a warm-up stage, if you don't ask questions in class, or if you don't do any of the work, then it's like not using what you're capable of. So eventually, you'll be capable of less.